Hey guys, Keith here. Today we're going to talk about a Cadillac CTS. This is a 2008, but this is a universal truth based on any vehicle with a sunroof. Today we're going to show you how to repair a leaking sunroof. The number one cause is the drain tubes. So a lot of times you'll notice uh, right here on the the uh, pillar, the A-frame pillar, there'll be water, mark, water damage there. Or you'll have uh, condensation on the inside of your uh, windshield, windows. You'll have water on the floorboards, back seat, whatever. And the common problem to that is the drain tubes. Then there's two drain valves on the sunroof. And they go down the A-frame into the frame and out the bottom of the body under the front tire, near the front tire. So you go up here to the top of the car, there's going to be two. One on the driver's side, one on the passenger side. There's going to be two drain tubes. So if you push this down, uh, let's see, you won't be able to see that maybe. Back in that corner, there's a drain tube. Okay, so this drain plug is clogged up. This end here connects to the hose. This end goes into the door panel. So as you can see, it's clogged up. We're gonna have to clear that out. I'm gonna show you how we find it. So this trim piece here, you just pry up with the flat screwdriver, flathead screwdriver. Get these. So after you take it apart, you want to obviously pull out that nipple, uh, throw a Q-tip in there, rinse it off, clean it out with a screwdriver, clean out the hose with the Q-tip, flush some water in it, but uh, put like an empty bottle of water down there and catch the uh, all the gunk and water dripping out of the hose. And I flushed the line, so... I just hooked it back up and I'm going to flush it again, make sure there's no leaks in it. See how that plug came out? You just got to pull it out and put it back in the... Uh, Classic. <sighs> Shit. Yeah, it's all clogged. Look at this. Right there. I just gotta push it a little bit. There's no leaky leaks. Looks good. So when putting this on, you see the three clips I got there. I'm gonna put the front end first and then pop the bottoms in. Actually, don't forget to put your carpet back. 